everybody, Traveling Slot Girl here. Thanks so much for tuning into my video. This video is about what you guys need to know before coming out to Las Vegas for New Year's Eve this year. So one of the things you need to know is that Las Vegas is definitely going to be open. It is not closing. So if you have a reservation for any of the hotels, you will be fine. And how I know that is that just this past Monday, two days ago, Governor Sisolak came on and said, Vegas is going to remain open. He will reevaluate the COVID cases not until January 15th and make any necessary changes then, but he will not make any changes before that. So Vegas will be open for New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve weekend. The other thing you need to know is bring your mask and hand sanitizer. So you don't have to wear a mask in your hotel room, but if you're out of your hotel room, in the casinos, in the hallways, in the elevator, even outside, you need to wear a mask. And that is mandatory here in Las Vegas. Bring your hand sanitizer too and make sure if you touch something, rub that on your hands right away. Get those germs going away. The other thing you need to know is if you want to have a fine dining experience here at one of the steakhouses or nicer restaurants in one of the hotels, you need to make a reservation now. Do not wait until you get here a couple days before New Year's Eve or even on New Year's Eve because the reservations will be all filled up. And that's because Governor Sisolak has an indoor dining capacity limit of only 25%. So they only are allowing 25% of the people in the restaurants for dinner. So it is December 14th right now. There's plenty of reservations open all over, whether you want to have a steak at the Wynn Steakhouse or at um, the Venetian or Caesars Palace or the Flamingo, wherever you like your steakhouse or fancier restaurant, please make your reservations now so you're not disappointed because if you wait till you get here, you're not going to get any reservations because it will be very busy. Um, the other thing is that if you don't mind eating a slice of pizza or a burger, those places are still open and there's no reservations needed. The food courts at Caesars and the Venetian are all open. The food court at New York, New York is also open and those you don't need any reservations for. So if you don't mind just grabbing a piece of pizza to go, you'll be fine. The other thing you need to know is that they canceled the fireworks on the strip which is sad, but they did announce that at 10 p.m. they are going to close the Las Vegas Strip, the actual street, they're going to close it down to motor vehicles. So the pedestrians, tourists, and locals will be able to go on the Strip and actually on the street of the Strip and walk around for the celebration at midnight. So that was really nice to hear. And the strip is large and has a lot of room, so we can kind of stay away from each other. Now, if you're planning on going down to Fremont Street, that's a different story. Um, they already have it barricaded off and are only going to allow so many people down there on New Year's Eve. They're having you walk through metal, metal detectors and checking purses and backpacks. And if you go down there and if it's full, they're not even going to let you in. So I wouldn't recommend going down to Fremont Street. It'll just be too packed and there's a really good chance you won't even get in. The Strip has got a lot more room and it'll be just as fun. And the other thing you need to do um, when you're coming for New Year's Eve is be really aware of your surroundings. Um, Las Vegas, economically, of course, like everyone else, has been very, very hard hit. There's still a lot of people without work here. And I have witnessed some things that were pretty sketchy even on the Strip, which is usually very safe. Um, do not venture off the Strip. Do not get really totally highly intoxicated and venture off the Strip and get yourself into trouble because people are going to be watching and preying on tourists here um, because of the circumstances because of the circumstances here with the COVID shutdowns and the economic impact impact and um, a lot of unemployment is running out January 1st so people um, really are running low on cash so please be careful be aware of your surroundings don't get too drunk and venture off the street and get into a situation where um, you're not safe so stay safe be aware of your environment also um, guys leave your wallet locked in the safe 
um, in the room, I would highly recommend that. You know, just take a couple hundred dollars or just take the minimum cash that you think you're going to play with or need. Leave all your credit cards in your safe. Um, and ladies, you're going to take your purse, wear your purse over your shoulders and in front of you. And also leave your major credit cards and some of that stuff in your safe in your room. That's, you know, um, where it will be safe. And if you get into a situation where someone picks your pocket and takes your wallet out of your purse and um, it's crowded, um, you know, and you just feel like, you know, people are bumping you, but someone's actually digging your purse for your wallet. Um, that is probably going to be the biggest uh, draw for the criminals to, um, you know, make some extra cash. So just leave it in the safe um, in your room. Then you won't have a problem. That's, that's what I would recommend anyway. That's what I'm going to do. So to recap, Las Vegas is staying open on New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve weekend. Woohoo! Bring and wear your mask and hand sanitizer. Make your reservations now for any restaurants that you might want to eat dinner in. The strip fireworks are closed, but the strip is going to be open for pedestrians. Stay safe and leave your valuables in your safe in your hotel room. So thanks so much for viewing my channel, guys. I really appreciate it. Behind me is, of course, the High Roller Lynx Ferris wheel. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope it helps. Uh, I hope it was helpful information for you for coming out for New Year's Eve. And I really appreciate you viewing my channel. Please hit that subscribe button and bell so you don't miss any more fun videos. Have a great New Year's Eve. I know we're all looking forward to 2021. I know I am so much like everyone else. I hope that uh, your family and you stay safe and please wear your masks so we don't spread this coronavirus out anymore. Thanks so much, guys. Traveling Slot Girl signing out for now. Have a lucky day. Bye now.